I don't always use Blender, but when I do, it is not in the kitchen. So I never thought I would be saying this, but I might be a convert. I like XPS foam. <laughs> I know. So I purchased a square of XPS foam from my local hardware store to maybe get inspired by it. Well, it sat there and it sat there and it sat there and I was like, I don't know what to do with this. I don't like how it feels. I don't like the texture of it. It irritates my skin. I don't understand why people like this. But I went out of my comfort zone and I decided to do a little experiment project with it. Just kind of play around, see what comes of it. And I actually love the result. Like truly love what I made with it. And that is this piece right here. Like I am so proud of this. Truly, honestly, like I love it. As you can see, it is XPS foam on the inside. Uh, there will eventually be lights for the windows. Right now it just has the LED for the gas lamp here. I have never worked with XPS foam before. And of course, I 3D printed and designed some files. And uh, this is also a first because I used foam for the shingles because a great crafter named Slavko, he goes by the Mini Mason. He made an in-build and he made some amazing, amazing foam shingles. And I was like, wow, I need to try those. It just has a different dimension than the cereal box cardboard shingles. And I bought the Green Stuff World shingle maker. And I was like, you know what? Let me buy it. Let me see. And that was a pain in the ass. Okay. I... Do not recommend it. Sorry, Green Stuff World, you have amazing products, but that one is just too much effort for what you get with it because it's literally a single shingle hole punch. I watched two movies and sat in front of the TV and was just clip, 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 clip. It was awful. Don't recommend it, but I do love the result. I mean, individual shingles are definitely the way to go. When I was building this, the original idea was to have this back piece pop off and then you would see the inside of this room that didn't happen because when i was designing this sdl file for the um the window i didn't design the other side of it so it was just an ugly flat piece so i was like you know what never mind this is a practice piece the next one that i do we will make it playable on the inside but so happy with this with even like the brick paint colors like it looks like brick the sandstone looks great in my opinion and just everything just ugh, so happy with this. Like I hate to toot my own horn, but toot motherfucking toot. And this was actually inspired by a real house that is in the Chicago area. This was purely an experiment and this is what I did. This is my first time using XPS foam. Wonderful. So if I can do it, you can do it. And the process was really easy. I started with a concept image, that being a real building. I built up a mock shape of it into Blender and started creating SDLs for the windows and other small details. And then I laid them out and grabbed some foam, dug out the little crevices, added some details and started hacking away at it. And this is what I did. Being an experiment piece, I even experimented using PVA glue to put the shingles on and that lasted about one row and then I went back to hot glue, but still it was an experiment. So I was trying new techniques that other people use and find helpful, but I found my own way to do it. Even the paint was an experiment for me because I went with all folk art paint, which now I'm going to almost exclusively use because I think the pigments of it are beautiful and I love just how it worked. And the moral of the story is try new things, be adventurous, and hopefully you're filming along the way. I wish I did, but my next build, I will definitely film the process and yeah. This is where I'm gonna end this video. I wanna start by saying 
thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you liked this build, give it a like, comment on the video, let me know what you think. And if you're new to the channel and you made it through the video, welcome. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. You never know what I'm going to post because I never know what I'm going to post. But next week, I'm going to try and give you an actual build video next time. So follow my journey. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Goodbye.